In this video, we're going to take a look at Display Suite dynamic fields. So you've seen that we've created a linked author code field. And code fields are really nice for combining existing elements into a single thing. Dynamic fields are different, and they're so crazy, I just really wanted to show them to you. So let's add one. If you look at the URL, you can kind of get a hint of what we're about to get into. Dynamic fields are actually CTools fields. CTools is the module that controls a lot of views and other modules you might see in your Drupal site building travels. But Display Suite calls them dynamic fields. So we're just going to give this field a name of dynamic one. We're going to make it available on nodes. I realize I'm being a little circumspect about what this does because it only makes sense once you actually get past this point. We'll just create this field. Now we haven't actually done anything, so you may be wondering what this thing does. So let's switch back to displays and we'll go back to article. And now we have dynamic one listed as an available field. Once again, can't really see what it's useful for. You have to place it first. So we'll put this dynamic field in the left column. Actually, you know what? Let's put it over on the right. And as you can see, it says it's not yet configured. So let's click this gear. And now I can see a few items. So here's a link for select content. This is the real stuff. So this loads up a big modal dialog that lets me choose from a lot of different things. What's happening here is CTools module is pulling content and just various things from all over the place in Drupal and giving you all of it in one place. So I have things related to activity, recent comments, who's online, who's new, custom blocks, display suite content, form elements, menus, miscellaneous stuff from various modules, elements of nodes. You can see there's a lot here. Elements of nodes that come from token module, generic page elements like breadcrumbs, help text, the site logo. I can create custom content or even pull in an existing node. And then widgets is what CTools uses to refer to blocks that are not custom blocks, that is. So I can put the user login block in here, search form, contact form, powered by Drupal, all kinds of stuff. One thing that's missing from this right now is views. And we'll look at how to get that in in a second. But for now, I'm just going to grab something miscellaneous or maybe a page element. I'll pull in the breadcrumb. So I can close the modal and save the settings, or I can click here to select something new. So if I decide that wasn't what I really wanted, I can go back and choose something again. But I'll stick with my first choice and then click here to close the modal and save the settings. These are some user interface details that I would not be surprised if some of these user interface details were to change in a stable release of Display Suite 2. But as I say, we're using a beta release right now, so there are things like this that you may run into. So I have my dynamic field. I've chosen what I want, and I'm going to click Update. And now this shows me what I've chosen. So I can save this. Refresh my memory about which view mode we're looking at. That's default. Okay. Close the overlay. And now if I look at the full content view, you can see I have home, new record coming soon here. The breadcrumb is being displayed. So you can see there's a lot that you could do with these dynamic fields without having to write any code. And I have two more notes on this. The first note is that dynamic fields can be different that is, the same dynamic field can be placed in the same node's displays and be different in different view modes. So let's take a quick look at that. I'll go to the Display Suite Manage Display tab. So we worked with dynamic one in the default view mode. So if I switch to teaser, dynamic one is disabled again, and I can place it. And you can see it's not configured yet. So I can choose completely different content in exactly the same dynamic field. That's another way in which these fields are interestingly dynamic. So that's part one, that these can be different in different view modes. Part two is that if you want views to be available for your dynamic fields, you need to enable one more views module. It's actually a views module, but you'll find it in the chaos tools suite. Views content panes. So if I enable this module and save the configuration, 
Now I can go back to my display suite settings and manage the display of an article. So here's my dynamic one field. And now configuring this again, if I click edit content, so here I have the option to close the modal and save the settings or select new content. I'm going to select new content. And now I have views. So these four views that I've created are available on the site now, and I can use any of them in my dynamic field. So I'm looking at articles right now, so probably I'll choose something other than news. Let's go with shows. So you can see this pulls in the master view of shows. I can do lots of different things here, but if you're ever looking for a way to pull in views into a node, this could be a way to do that. I'll save this. Okay, so now you can see I have my list of shows pulled into my node. This is perhaps not the most useful thing for this particular application, but you can see that it's quite powerful. So that is a look at Display Suite Dynamic Fields, which can pull in almost anything from your Drupal site into a field and then be displayed in your content.